Part 6 of rebuilding a large old twin cylinder steam engine shows the parts that I bought from Blackgates yesterday. And these parts are a couple of pieces of cast iron. And with these two pieces of cast iron I'm going to make two cylinder covers. Cylinder covers in cast iron will be much better. I don't personally like brass cylinder covers. Also I need to make these slightly bigger so when I put the cladding on the cylinders the cladding will be inboard of the cylinder cover and look much better. So what I need to do is copy the cylinder covers that I already have. Make them a larger diameter and a slightly different design. And what you see at the moment is me just facing off the blank in the chuck. There are many ways to duplicate a cylinder cover like this, but the way I decided to do it is to take a measurement of the part that goes into the cylinder. This is two inches. And then machine a two inch recess in the piece of cast iron. That way the cylinder cover will fit into the recess and by using some Loctite 603 I can hold it in place on the cylinder cover blank then use it as a drilling jig to drill the holes for the cylinder bolts. Here I am coating the blank with some Loctite 603 and then making sure that it's spread evenly on the cylinder cover and the cast iron part. And then it's just a case of leaving it for a short while. It will be quite easy when I've finished drilling the holes to just tap these with a hammer and the brass parts will fall away. The worst case scenario if they really stuck fast would be I would have to heat it up to destroy the bond of the 603. But normally just tapping it with a hammer is the answer. Already the Loctite has grabbed on the first cylinder cover so it's over to the drilling machine to drill the holes. At this point I must say that as a musician I need to use my hands for playing the keyboard so I don't usually hold pieces of metal in my hand whilst I'm drilling them. This being an exception, it's quite a heavy piece of metal and it's a small drill. So if anything went radically wrong, the drill would break. And I'm being very careful and making sure the drill breaks through cleanly. And it's a good idea to put it on a piece of wood as you see here. So once all the holes are drilled in the cylinder cover blank, just tapping it with a hammer releases the Loctite. And then it's back to the lathe. With the blank firmly held in the chuck, the first thing I do is turn away the recess that I made earlier. Now I'm machining the opposite of a recess, which is a protrusion. This needs to be two inches in diameter to fit into the cylinder. But I will machine this much deeper than I need it. Because initially I need to use this as a spigot to hold the work in the chuck the other way round so I can machine the front surface of the cover, or the top surface should I say. Any experienced engineers watching this might be laughing at the moment, but this is musician's logic and it seems to work. So now we have a deeper than required spigot on the underside of the cylinder cover, which is held in the chuck, allowing me to machine the other surface. And here I'm facing the front of the cylinder cover, after having already machined a recess using a small round nose tool. It's important to make sure that the holes that are pre-drilled in the blank end up midway from where the recess finishes to the outside edge of the cover. I must say that it's very important to remember the numbers on the hand wheels so that both of the cylinder covers are exactly the same. Now it should be clear why I made the cylinder covers a larger OD. The original OD of these cylinders is too small for the standards upon which they sit. But now as I've machined the cylinder covers to the same diameter as the standards, when I put the cladding in place, the cylinders will look much better on this engine. So that's the top end more or less taken care of. There's still a lot of work to do on this engine yet though, and the next one, which will be part 7, will be along shortly. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.